Hey guys, okay, so Adam and I are going to go out to lunch. He has a uh, half day Fridays um, for a few more weeks. And so I decided not to shower this morning. So we're gonna do a full get ready with me. And you're not even gonna know I didn't shower by the end of this and it'll be like five minutes. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in this charcoal hair serum. So it's kind of like a replacement for dry shampoo. And then I'm gonna get some of our hair balm and I'm gonna slick my hair back. I put on this romper. My shoulders can get some sun and I got some earrings on. Okay, so I like this hair balm because it doesn't make your hair look or feel greasy, but it just gives it that smoothness. And then I'm just gonna put it in a little bun back there. I'm gonna use some more hair balm. And it really helps with the humidity in Florida. All right, hair's done. I forgot, if you want a little bit more cold, put on our hairspray, just kind of do that. Okay, makeup time. All right, makeup time. So first, some hydrating facial sunscreen because we're going to be eating outside. So getting that SPF 20 on my daytime moisturizer also has a mechanical sun shield as well as my foundation. So I'm going to have an SPF 20 plus an, an SPF 30 equivalent mechanical sun shield. All right, next we're going to put a little concealer on a few spots and a heart right there. Just dab it on. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my cheeks. And with that, I'm just gonna rub it in like that. Just a little extra coverage there. Next is my foundation. So I go back and forth between tinted moisturizer and foundation. And I am gonna just blend it in and I'm actually just going to go over my eyes with it as well and I'm going to blend it all the way down my neck my neck is always a little bit lighter than my chest and since I have my hair up I'm actually going around my neck as well okay I'm going to use oat milk to just kind of highlight a little bit and this is actually an eyeshadow. But I'm just using it to highlight just a tiny bit. Okay, I just put on Honey Latte Gloss. This is the one I wore last night so you can see what it looks like in the light right here. A little focus, Honey Latte. It's part of the new collection. Tonight I'm gonna wear cold brew. So stay tuned, I'll show you guys it. But for now I'm putting on this gloss. Okay, eyes, we're doing cocoa. These are so quick. So we're gonna do cocoa all over. Look how fast. I don't even really have to blend it that much. It really, really is so easy to use. And on this side, I put a little underneath so you can see. Look at how much that just elevates your look with just a little bit underneath. Okay, now brows. This is my old waterproof black mascara. I think I'm starting to run out, but it's okay because you don't want a ton of color. If you go in with a brand new mascara, it might be a little too much color. Just fluff it up and then I can go in with a little more color. So I've got a few little bare spots that need a little bit more color. So I use the angled brush. And if you want to even out the top or give yourself a little bit more structure, you can. 
All right, a few more things. So we're going to put on some mascara and I'm going to put on the non-waterproof because sometimes I like to play a little game called let's see if our non-waterproof mascara can hold up to the Florida humidity. And so far it has done so well, but it, I usually wear waterproof. Um, but I know some people prefer the non-waterproof that brushes are a little different. And so I opened one recently and I was like, okay, let's wear it because I want you guys to be able to see both brushes. I want you guys to be able to see the wear time of both of them because it, they both hold up really, really, really well. When we go to the beach and we are swimming, that's when I wear the waterproof, like no, like, like no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's when I wear the waterproof and it's crazy how it holds up. So if you go to the beach and you want to have some lashes because without mascara, mine just, you can't see them, um, go for the waterproof, but you can see the wands a little different. So I put my primer on and then I go in and cover. This one takes a few coats. Top also. And there we go. All right, almost done. So a few questions that I get are um, like one of them is, do you have a setting spray? Because most makeup, you need a setting spray. You do not need a setting spray because it's going to last. I mean, you guys have seen me. I've been outside. I've been sweating. I've been swimming. And I still come home and just my gloss has come off. But if I'm wearing lip scents, it stays. My waterproof mascara stays. My brows stay. My foundation has never in the history of wearing Cenogens for the past seven and a half years, my makeup has never, my foundation has never melted off. And I hear stories of that all the time from other brands. So no setting spray is needed, but if you want a little extra hold, because I mean, in Florida, it is crazy hot and in the Midwest right now, it's like hundreds, right? So if you want a little extra hold, go in with our white translucent powder. So I like to do this at the very end and I just use a fluffy brush and I like to just really do it in like the T zone and it kind of just gives it that extra hold. It holds in that shine, but it's not, um, and it kind of gives you almost like a filter look, but you do not need a setting spray. So this is optional. I would recommend it because it really does kind of give you that like filter finish. It just kind of blends everything together. All right, last thing, it is our Glowify Body Hydration Spray. So I'm gonna shake it up. This one's the bronze and you can put it on your face. I like to just put it on my chest and on my arms and look at the hydration. So it's got just like a tiny, tiny bit of, I just kinda like to rub it in a little bit just to it'll dry a little quicker. And whoa, it just fell. And then when I go outside, my skin is gonna have like the healthiest, dewiest glow. I should have Adam put it on my back. It's going to look, like I said, so healthy, so just dewy and fresh and has that tiny little tint of color. It's not like really dark, but when it's on, it just gives you a little bit of color. So it gives a little bit of a tan. So, all right, that was my quick look. So if you have any questions about anything I use, any brushes, any products, um, if you um, see something and you want more information on it, just send me a message and I will get back to you.